In this video, we are going to focus on standard 208.3. Determine whether a group of objects up to 20 has an odd or even number of members. This type of problem allows second graders to begin exploring general patterns connected to their work with addition and subtraction. So our problem says, there are 16 students going to the football game. Is there an odd or even number of students going to the football game? I know we can pair up concrete materials to determine if a number is even or odd. So I have 16 cubes here. I'm going to pair them up. And if we have no cubes left over, then that means our number 16 is even. But if we have a cube left over, that tells me the number 16 is odd. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I have sixteen cubes. They're paired, and we have no cubes left over. So that tells me sixteen is an even number. We can draw to determine if a number is even by splitting the number into two groups. So I'm going to have one group here and one group here, and I'm going to count up to sixteen and split them between the two groups. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now I'm going to count the number of dots in my group and see if we have the same amount in both groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Since there are eight dots in both groups, I know that 16 is an even number because it can split evenly between two groups. So there is an even number of students going to the game. If we wanted to use an equation to show that 16 is an even number, we could use the number from our draw it section. So 8 plus 8 is actually what's called a doubles fact. And since we have a doubles fact that equals 16, we know 16 is an even number. Now it's your turn to try a problem. Justin used 15 blocks to build a tower. Did he use an even or odd number of blocks? Good luck.